Hello everyone, how are you? This is Kay. So in this video, I would like to talk about the candlesticks and some basics of candlesticks. And this is going to be the series of videos. So far, I'm not sure how many parts, maybe four or five parts of the video series. And I will talk about not only how to trade by candlesticks, but also the history and how it was invented and how it was introduced, that the technique was introduced um, to the world in Japan originally. So as a um, Japanese trader myself, I feel such an honor to be able to share the information. So um, I hope you enjoy the series of videos and learn something new about the candlesticks on this video. So I created a slide so this is going to, going to be part one. Who created the candlesticks? Um, do you know who created the candlesticks? Maybe you heard the name. Uh, if you Google search, um, then I think the name will pop up. But uh, let me do more precise on exactly who he was and what kind of background he had uh, until he come up with the candlestick techniques. So let me go to the next slide. Okay, so here is the history of the candlestick. Candlestick technique was created by Mr. Munehisa Homa, or you can call him Sokyu Homa, either fine. But today, on this video, I will do it as a Munehisa Homa. In Edo period, uh, early 70s in Japan. So that was a long ago. The candlesticks techniques was originally created by him. And this is his picture. And he was the most famous and successful trader back then. So he was not just a creator of techniques, but he himself was a great and big successful trader back then. And then, uh, based on his experience and based on what he was seeing among the markets, he came up with the idea of these candlesticks that we see nowadays. So, um, and I will talk about more deeply about this uh, episode also. And then candlestick making was used for rice trading in Dojima, Osaka. So he established his techniques in Dojima, Osaka. And back then, uh, Dojima, Osaka was the hub of the business and trade. Uh, so it was really big. Uh, the market was really big. And every day, the market opens, closes, and lots of traders were there on the market field and they trade exchange the rate and between rice and some vegetables to money and they were doing some uh, trades back then in Osaka and he himself was not originally from Osaka I will tell you in a minute where exactly he's from but um, he became very famous and successful in Osaka Dojima so he was trading rice back then mainly. And to get more deeply, let me move on to the next slide. So about Munehisa Homa, he was born in Sakata city in Yamagata prefecture in rich family. So um, if you don't know where Yamagata prefecture is in Japan, I have a map here. So let me give you an idea of what the city looks like and where it is. So here is a map. This is Google map. And uh, this is the map of Japan. And uh, if I just zoom in, then you see this uh, red dot circle. This is uh, Sakata city. So if I zoom in more, then you can see that the Sakata city is here. So, um, Hold on, let me zoom out a little bit. Well, actually, this is in Japanese, but here it says Sakata. This is Sakata Station. 
And also, if I zoom in more and more, then you can see here, um, this is Homma family, previous um, house. So this is one of the historic places, uh, and you can also visit there and touch some history of how Homma family was doing his, their business. They were very successful, first of all, among their businesses uh, within this particular city back then. And um, Munehisa Homma was the third boy. So there's a oldest and second oldest, and then there was him. So um, this is one of the, you know, very rich family, uh, rich families back then in Japan. And uh, Sakata city is really beautiful. I visited here long ago uh, in Yamagata prefecture, but the, the nature is so beautiful. And you can see mountain, the contrast of the mountain and city, city and lake. And this is right next to the sea. So um, you can enjoy lots of seafood and also, of course, rice. So it's really nice city. Well, if you have a chance to visit uh, Japan, I recommend you to visit uh, Sakata city as well to touch the history of the candlesticks and also their businesses too. But coming back to the main topic, um, so, so he was born in a rich family. And when he was 16 years old, he went to Edo, which is currently in Tokyo, to explore himself for business opportunities, then met trading. So his father was a very famous businessman back then, and he was wealthy. And uh, he studied, he went to Edo, uh, to Tokyo from Sakata city, uh, to study business in general. But then, there he met trading. And after returning home, he told his father about trading, but it was rejected as father thinks it's not a proper way of doing business. So, I think I heard this, the same, same word from my father too. <laughs> you know, my father is not really, uh, not like trusting or believing uh, trading, he thinks trading is like a gambling, and I think um, lots of people think like that, and no exception, no exception um, about uh, his father too. So he didn't really like uh, what uh, Munehisa Homa was trying to do in trading. So, um, then story goes on, after his father passed away, he started trading rice market, then made big profits. So, um, he, back then he wasn't using the candlesticks, he was only looking at the numbers every day, and he was trading uh, based on the differences uh, of the prices every day, uh, in terms of the rice market, and he was buying cheaper and setting setting a higher price, and that that that's why he was doing his uh, trading basically back then. So he wasn't using candlesticks at this point yet. But uh, to dig it more deeply, so this is a very um, kind of like a struggle uh, history of him. And I think this is in, uh, interesting for everyone to, for you to also um, think about. So I took a memo also, besides this uh, slide. So after his father's death, he, the oldest son took over the business. Then soon later, he wanted to retire. So he sent his son for a business training outside of Sakata city. So. Um, Again, there were three sons. So, um, Munehisa Homa was the youngest. And the oldest uh, took over the business after his father, father passed away. And then later, the oldest um, son's son 
uh, was uh, going to take over the business. So the oldest uh, son actually asked his son to um, uh, to train outside of the city, and then he Munehisa uh, Homa was temporarily running the business until his oldest brother's son comes back. Okay, so um, he wasn't just a trader. He was also running business. He took over the business temporarily and trading at the same time. So he was sort of like a part-time trader back then, but he was still able to make huge profits. Um, so he get funded from that business and traded rice market, then made big profits while running businesses at the same time. Then the son returned home and he had totally different business ideas. I mean the son. The son had the totally different ideas um, from Amunehisa Homa and plans. So his son actually kicked out of Munehisa Homa from the business and also from the family. They were very uh, like fighting like each other. So they separated totally, completely. And plus the son invested most of the asset Munehisa Homa has earned into public services. So Munehisa Homa was a trader also. So based on what he earns, he wanted to re reinvest and make more profits. As we say nowadays, he wanted to compound the profits until it grows big enough so that uh, he can also explore uh, new business opportunities and maybe business in Osaka or Tokyo and some other cities. But uh, the, the son was against it and instead he invested most of the asset into public services in Sakata city. So just by hearing this story, I think um, uh, the son seems to be stubborn. But uh, I think uh, how I feel is that uh, I think the son and also his father uh, had love uh, towards the home city. So he wanted to contribute to the home city and also he wanted to preserve some historic places and uh, trees and ocean. So that's how uh, his son was investing. But Munehisa Homa himself was an investor and he was more, um, he wanted to more, he was uh, a trader and uh, he was more focused into trading and making bigger profits. So that's why uh, they were not, you know, uh, coming along. So then he went to, he means, uh, so Muneshima Hon, uh, Munehisa Homa went to Edo, Tokyo to do trading again, but he lost very big. So uh, he had some asset, of course. So he went to uh, Tokyo, but then he felt very big and he said uh, he lost almost all his money. He got, he broke, uh, he got broke. So um, he returned to Sakata city again. Then um, after get funded again, he went to Osaka, then made few profits. And this trading uh, uh, experience or proof in Osaka made him so uh, famous. So like I mentioned here, um, uh, then the biggest marketplace was in Osaka back then. Osaka was said that it's a uh, kitchen of the world in Japan back then. So Osaka was the hub of a trade and half of the businesses back then. So he went to Osaka um, with ambition and took another opportunity. Again, he made uh, successful profits. And it said, according to the uh, history, I have read some historic book and also looked up some uh, 
uh, articles on the library. And back then, he made about 10 billion USD dollars. So that's how he was so successful. I mean, this is, I think, more than successful. So um, yeah, so that's why he was very, very famous back then. So funny thing, funny thing is that because he was known as the most successful trader in Japan, and of course back then there is no PC, there is no phone, but almost all these all the people in Japan know knew about him. So uh, that's how famous he was back then. So funny thing is that um, there are some songs even about him. And let me introduce uh, two songs. Uh, the title title of the two songs, and one is uh, like here um, songs about him, Shiny Sakata, Cloudy Dojima, Rain of Rice Drops in Edo. So he's originally from Sakata City, so uh, he makes uh, big returns to Sakata City. So. It says shiny Sakata and cloudy Dojima. Dojima is a center of the trades. So every day people make profits and people make losses. So kind of cloudy Dojima and rain of rice drops in Edo. So the rice uh, uh, that was centered from all over Japan once uh, get, get together in Dojima and then they go different regions. And one of the biggest regions uh, was to Edo. So, uh, and so Dojima from Dojima, rice goes to Edo. So that's like the rain of rice drops in Edo. So um, this is one of the famous songs. I never heard this song before, but according to the article in library, it says like this. And second song that's famous was Cannot be Honma Sama, but at least want to be Tono Sama, king of a country. So Sama means like um, like sir or mister, or like when you meet some teacher or when you meet someone superior, then we say Sama to someone in Japanese. So people uh, people thought, thought that the uh, you know I cannot be Homa sama but at least I want to be Tono sama Tono sama means king of the country so that's how famous he was and I heard there are a couple of other famous songs about him and um, so that's a little bit of history about him and his backgrounds and how he end up ended up with uh, uh, Osaka Dojima and created candlesticks. So Dojima was a place where he invented the candlesticks. So for this video, I think I will finish and on the next part two, I will talk about Dojima itself and uh, some basics of the candlestick patterns that uh, Munehisa Homa introduced to the world. So uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you will enjoy, continue to enjoy the next part series on this uh, candlestick uh, series. So again, thank you very much everyone for uh, watching the video. If you liked it, please press like button and see you on the next one. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you very much. I hope you become a non-losing trader. In Ichimoku community, I share the original knowledge of Ichimoku. In KTS Academy, I share my original strategy including risk and psychology management. In GT, I cement your trades and follow up one-on-one -on -one closely for the three months. Take a survey to find out which course suits you the best. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you liked it, please press like button and please subscribe. And until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now.
またね。Thank you very much.